Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the best strategy for purchasing coaching packages to maximize efficiency in Dynasty mode. Now, before we get into the video, as always, if you're new, subscribe. Let's continue to get to 30K. We're getting pretty close, but I'd like to speed that up a little bit if possible. Comment down below, as always, if you have anything to add to these videos, any other tips, advice, or even some feedback on them, which is always helpful to help out the community down below, as well as myself. And of course, give the video a big thumbs up as always. Can we get 300 likes on this video? I greatly appreciate it. Each and every like goes a long way in helping out the channel. And as always, check out my Twitter link down below. Follow me over there. Hit me up. Feel free to DM me directly on there if you have any questions or you just want to chat. And of course, check out Underdog. Using my code is super simple. Takes a few seconds. Helps out the channel and gets you ready for the CFB and NFL season that's shortly coming up. So the key here when going through all of these is going to be taking the most efficient approach to everything to maximize recruiting efforts. So for instance, right? I see a lot of people come into this and start buying very specific packages and they're not well-rounded packages that do a lot to benefit you they only benefit you in certain instances so for instance let's start in recruiter let's say for instance you really want to go down here and you want a kicker right you want to get additional interest on kickers Keep in mind, you only play one kicker and you're probably only recruiting like one kicker every season, every few seasons or so. And even then you're probably not recruiting many. So it's like you're getting, you're wasting 32 points to maybe max out your kicker package, but it makes no sense. And this is similar to quarterback. I know quarterback's important, but you're not, you're not always recruiting that many quarterbacks. You want to be focusing on bulk positions when recruiting. So when taking a look at this, positions like offensive linemen, I don't think people realize, like I know it's boring, like it's offensive linemen, but how many, how many points and how much effort go into offensive line when it's all said and done? For instance, for a quarterback, you may scout like five quarterbacks. You may fully go after about two quarterbacks. You're only starting one quarterback. So let's just say that was recruiting actions on about six total players. Offensive linemen, you start five. You need at least about 10 to 15 on the roster because you're going to need backups for each five and then potentially even some more depth than that. So you're going to need 10 to 15. So every year you're probably scouting and then you got to scout them, right? So every year you're probably trying to bring in anywhere between five and 10 offensive linemen, give or take. And that probably means you're scouting close to 20 or 30 offensive linemen. So from five to six quarterbacks, you're literally doing five times more, close to 30 scoutings. So in this case, it's so important to buy the recruiting packages on positions that have bulk players at them, like offensive linemen. If you do less time to scout, now you're spending less weekly hours on scouting, which means to scout 30 offensive linemen, you're only spending the amount that you would need on 20. That cuts back 10. If you did it on a quarterback, instead of having to scout six at 30 each, maybe you're only scouting five at 20 each. It ends up not saving you that much. You're only saving on one quarterback when here you're pretty much getting 10 linemen give or take for free because of all the points you're saving. So important. Recruiting actions give a bonus offensive linemen. You need to get close to five to 15, like I said, linemen per season. So giving a bonus to all these means that you'll win more. And also this goes a long way in incre increasing your top five class potential because you're probably bringing in five to 15 linemen, right? So that's going to be a good amount of your, of your classes here. Now, obviously that's going to flip. One year you might bring in five to 10 D linemen. One year you might bring five to 10 offensive linemen. The next year you might bring only two offensive linemen because you brought in 10 the last year. So know that that flips, but that's going to be a position that accounts for a lot of players. Let's continue on this. So the offensive linemen, let's say you then buy defensive line and linebackers. Packages cost about 20 to upgrade. So you're looking at about 60 to upgrade all three for the cost of 60 points out of your 490 total you have. That brings you down to 430. You're going to have five offensive linemen, four defensive linemen, and about three backers or four backers. That's like half of what you're gonna be putting on the field every week for the cost of 16. You're gonna have maximum benefits on all of them. Keep that in mind that this goes such a long way, especially when recruiting, because if you're looking at linebackers and you're looking at lot linemen and D-linemen, you'll quickly realize that you can't scout everything because there's so many. You're gonna have to take some blind shots at these positions. And these are really important positions. These are your trenches. So you do wanna be making sure you're efficient when looking at your coaching, your coaching approach to buying packages. I've seen people where you could go, you buy quarterback, and then you buy quarterback elite, and then maybe you buy the halfback one. These two alone right here will cost you about 64, plus these will cost you about 40. You're looking at close to over 100, one fourth of your total points on two positions, quarterback, halfback. Albeit important, while I don't say you don't have to get quarterback, make sure you take care of the positions that matter in terms of bulk, because they're gonna be impacting more players. And with these three, I can recruit so many other guys so simply that I can just put all focus on these guys when I need them. And this goes, across, this goes along across the board. When you go to strategists, it's the same concept. Boost visits for quarterbacks, impact for quarterbacks, 
You can do the same thing with D-line and offensive line. Again, this all comes down to a lot of other factors, such as what do you want to be great at with your team? But what I'd recommend is getting your bulk positions or at least a few of them. You don't want to be a singular position bonus type coach. While it's great to have a quarterback and a running back, it's not going to be so fun when you have no points to do the rest and you're taking blind shots left and right at other positions. And this would be a great way to bring in gems and bring in high dev guys because you're going to have a better look at these players. You can actually scout them and recruit them pretty easily. And then also keep in mind with offensive linemen, you're competing for them every year. Like I said earlier, when you're competing against other people, one year, a lot of people may go after a quarterback and the next year, everyone has their their current quarterback and their freshman. They may not be so interested in a new freshman quarterback. So that's the year where you could strike. Offensive linemen is one of those positions where every single season, most teams are going to be trying to get the top offensive linemen. So you're going to be competing for them every year because you could always bring in another left tackle because you can play that right tackle, you can play that guard, you can move them around the line. A quarterback, you're probably not moving around, right? So quarterback's very singular. So once you have two or three on your roster, you're probably not looking at one for another season or two. Linemen, you're always looking for one because why not? You can always upgrade at line. There's plenty of positions to move them around for quarterbacks and kickers, not so much. So keep that in mind. And that goes across with tactician. Same thing with the boost. You could boost your quarterback for all these points, but that's just a quarterback boost. If you boost your O-line, you can literally get your entire O-line up a few points, which will go a long way in helping your overall and overall your performance. Same thing with D-line and secondary. So that's what I recommend going through on each of these and just kind of checking out the bulk ones. This is if you're trying to be a well-rounded, very efficient coach. Of course, if you know what you like and you know that like, I'm great, I need a quarterback and a wide receiver and I can win any game. If that's where you're going, go for it. And on the flip side, if that's the case, you probably don't need to go crazy recruiting one because you're, you're going to win either way. But focus on the efficient side of upgrading your packages and go through all of them, each and every one of them. Now, there are some caveats to this in terms of as you get to the top with CEO and program builder, there are some other things you can do to actually increase, uh, to spend points in a non-efficient a, a non way for positions, but in a different way. For instance, some of these are very singular, boost to job security, 12 points. That's a lot of points for something so singular, not really my, my cup of tea. Earn additional XP from all completed goals, very broad. Not bad to earn additional XP when trying to upgrade your coach. Bonus XP when taking new jobs. Very singular if you plan to stay with your team. Friends and family discount. Archetypes are cheaper if owned by another coach. Again, one of those ones that help everyone. I love those. And so on and so forth. Upgrade your pipelines. This impacts your entire recruiting game. I love Relationship Builder. I'm going to have a video going over the overpowered ones and some other ones that I love. But Relationship Builder, it boosts all your pipelines. It boosts your five best, your five worst. This impacts your entire recruiting point, which the game is playing the game and recruiting and development. That's one third of the entirety of this game is recruiting. So all the ones that impact all your recruiting is very, very useful. Ones like this, which home, home and away composure penalties, while I love it, it only impacts you when you're home or when you're away, right? Again, singular. It's playing the game and it's only a portion of playing the game. So that, that does kind of play a role here and other things like that. So just make sure to go through these and see stuff like this, upgrading your pipeline. I love these too. I actually don't like the first one here, but I do like the rest. So overall, yeah, that plays a role in terms of what you're doing. And then CEO, same concept. First round players are less likely to leave for the NFL. This impacts your whole team, but it only impacts the players that are going to be first rounders. While I think it's great and I think it's helpful, one of the ones that only impacts certain aspects of the game. Second chance to persuade players. This only applies to players that plan to transfer. While it's great, it is a lot of points or something that's only going to work on a few. And keep in mind, this is 18 points. You do have some positions where it's only 20 points to upgrade the whole recruiting tree for the remainder of that versus losing a player here and there to transfer or just getting a second persuade that still may fail. So while I do love and think these are very useful as complementary pieces, if we're trying to build an efficient type coach, you're not looking at some of these, right? Home field advantage effects are lower, not great. Portal preview, okay. Gasoline, like these are things, a lot of the CEO ones are very singular. Dream school, I do like, because instant commit helps your whole recruiting process. But if you don't get the instant commit, you just wait, you have 18 points on it and it's not helping you every single season. Bundle discount is great. I am making a video going over bundle discount. It is great if you use the right way. Cause like in this case, bundle discount's good, but Neil Hobbs, Georgia coach, Kirby Smart dupe is already almost 50. So you're not going to get much from the discounts. You may be able to like get a little bit more, but the amount you're saving from level 45 to 50 is going to be so minimal that it probably just ends up paying for the package. So it's not that great. It's much better on coordinators and level zero type coaches, but I'm making a video on that. It's probably out when you're watching this. So go check that out. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Just make sure you're taking an efficient approach to every single coaching upgrade you do. Don't just be randomly buying them and just assuming, oh, I'll just buy this and I'll buy that. These look great. Really calculate what you do because you'll realize quickly if you bought all the singular type packages, only like 10% of what you do in Dynasty will be benefited and you're going to be on your own for the rather than 90%. 
if you buy efficient packages all across the board, you're now looking at having a coach where 60 to 70% of what you do is getting boosted by other factors in this game. And that goes such a long way in helping you out. You'll be winning more recruiting battles. You'll suddenly have better starting interest. You're going to be winning a lot. You're going to be winning more scouting hours, more regular hours, more to use. It's just become so efficient. It makes the game so much more enjoyable and easy for you. But if this video did help you out, give it a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below if you have any other variables or advice to add to this video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Road to 30K. Check me out on Twitter. Follow me over there. Check out my underdog link down below. And that's about it. I'm out. Peace.